Hello and welcome to the fourth video in this series of an introduction to Scrivener for Jira Cloud. My name's Bobby and I'm a customer success manager here at Adaptivist. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through the resources available to you to get, help you get the most out of the Scrivener add-on. Scrivener is a large tool with a lot of features and customization to make your Jira instance as powerful as you need it to be. But that does mean that there's a fair amount to wrap your head around. Luckily, we have a plethora of resources available to you to help you get there. First, I'm going to be looking in app. So as you can see, I'm on the browse page of my script runner add-on, and we have a list of functionality. This functionality is pre-built scripts or tools that you can use day one that don't require you to write any code. As you can see, I've, we've divided these into four different categories, administrative functions, automation, customization, and extension. So if I install script runner and I want to see how I can use script runner to, cust to automate my Jira instance, I can select automate here and the features listed below have the automation tag. All I need to do then is select. And so for example, here we have the script. It will take me through to the console and give me the script that I need to use. I may need to change some slight things. So for example, this JQL query, but the script itself is there ready to be used. There are also examples in each of the features. So for example, if I go to a script console, I have the examples box here and I can select an example and it will pre-populate that box with the code. Same thing if I go to listeners, if I go and pick a listener and go to create, we have an examples box here with code built in. We also have a load of resources outside of the tool. So the first one I'm going to speak about is the Adaptivist library. The Adaptivist library is a repository of scripts free and available for you to use whenever you need. So here I can find code that I can either use as is, so I take the whole script and use it, or I can find code that I want to take snippets from. So for example, if I want to see how to access a certain API endpoint. To access my Jira Cloud scripts, all I need to do is select the script for Jira app. And then under platforms, I need to select cloud. And I can see here the scripts are available. And when I select the find the script I want, I can select it and I've taken through with documentation about the script itself and then the script here. We also have a script runner homepage, scriptrunnerhq.com. And here are a load of resources, blog posts, etc., that you can use to get the most out of script runner. So for example, if I select help and then go to script runner for Jira for cloud, I'm taken through to the documentation. Our documentation is also an excellent resource as not only does it have descriptions of the features and how they work, but also some code snippets and examples that you can use. So for example, if I go and select list script listeners, we can see here we have script listeners examples, as well as the page that describes how listeners work. And under these examples, you can find some code that you can use to start playing around and creating your own listener. In the documentation, we also have this training page where we have courses for script enough for Jira Cloud for beginners and intermediate users, where you can use those to leverage and upgrade your skills using script runner. Externally from adaptivist control, the Elastin community is an excellent resource when you're writing or trying to figure out what's possible using script runner. The script runner add-on is widely used and there are people in the community, not just from adaptivist, but also external users who are communicating, helping and answering questions about script runner, how you can do certain things and how you can write your code. Adaptivist with Script Runner is the only company to have its own separate section in the community because the Script Runner community is so large and is such a big part of the community that it has that section. So you can go there to find like-minded people. If for whatever reason Script Runner stops working or you have some relatively simple script questions or you have some basic questions about Script Runner, our support portal is there and available for you to use. We're pretty proud of our support portal. If you can go and see our ratings, the support is rated quite highly. And here you can make requests for bugs, improvements on new features, or if you just have a general request, and want to get a little bit more information, this is available to you. Finally, as a service we provide, if you are trying to write scripts and you want a big suite of scripts that you can't write or you can't figure out, we do also have scripting as a service. This is a tool, a feature or a service that we provide where we have experienced uh, developers ready to write your scripts for you. And you can come here to request a script. 
spec it out and get all of that information available to you. All of the links to everything provided here will be in the description of the video below. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.